Welcome everybody to Metal Gear Solid 1. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection has been released and I finally get to play Metal Gear Solid for my channel. I'm so excited for this. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 1 since the early 2000s. So I'm going to have to learn the whole game again. I know the story, obviously, but I will be Rocky Rocket-esque in style in terms of stealth. But for now, here's a cutscene. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? approach the disposal facility by sub. And then, we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. With a broken neck or whiplash, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes, this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Oh, nostalgia! It's been a long time. As you can tell, I am not playing the Master Collection version. I have had this version on my PC for about three years. I've never touched it. This is the first, one of the first times I'm opening up. I've opened it up to sort out the controls, um, but I'm ready. I'm ready to jump right in. So without further ado, and I'm going to play it on normal because as I said, I will get seen a lot and die a lot because this is a game from 1998. So it's unforgiving. It doesn't want to hold your hand. You will have to remember things and you will have to listen. I can't wait. Normal, please. Another cutscene. Like the game mixes uh, real life military language with fantasy, you know, sci-fi. Uh, then it'll break the fourth wall. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. You gotta remember, all this camera work, it's not been changed for this version. This is how the 1998 version is. It's bloody lovely. By the way, do you like my new office? It's, uh, it's very nice. You'll see this probably later in the series, somewhere. 
Get ready for dialogue. I'm going down here. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yep, told you what I say about breaking the fourth wall. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, the controls are a little sensitive. Okay. I got myself a ration. That'll keep us from dying for five seconds. So, yes, you leave footprints. Yes, that matters. Also, oh god, I may have to... Oh, let me show you a little trick. Ready? That's the way to get their attention. What do you want? Snake, you have to crawl to get through there. First, crouch down by pressing the crawl button, and then use the directional button to crawl in the direction you want. Be careful, though. Crawling is slow, and you can't attack when you're doing it, either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. We haven't even met you yet, Naomi Hunter. Calm down. Let's go. We got rats. We got bastards. Okay. So, this game is not, like, we don't walk slow. Is there anything over here? Ah, yes! More rations! You have to use your, uh... <laughs> first person view. Oh! Please stop. Okay. I use my first person view a lot to, like, look around. You're gonna turn around, are you, you scum? Nope. I get. I don't remember your patrols. I'm gonna get seen quickly. Oh, okay. So, prepare for this to be this way. Ah! Why? You what? Stop! Which way are you even going? Okay, now I think I know. When you're in this position, though, you don't have a... Uh, you don't have a radar. So, if you and your massive trousers could move... Another one. Another one is joining the fray. Which means I am incredibly screwed. I did say it was going to get seen a lot. There's no point in me trying to live through this. So welcome to Metal Gear Solid, everybody. What happened? Snake. Snake! Here we go. That's going to happen a lot. I understand. I understand the task that I am going to be a part of. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And it begins. Metal Gear Solid doesn't give a shit about you. Oh my god. Look at that butt. Okay, I'm gonna need you to disappear. I do want that ration over here, but I'm... Oh, he heard the noise of me going through the water. 1998, everybody. I'm gonna try not to make this a frustrating experience, but you know. Okay. I'm got. D try not to step in water too close to the other guards because they can hear you. Ah, uh, don't fucking see me. Oh, another, another one. I don't need, I don't need more than one. That's, that's baloney. I need several. 
The music is so nostalgic. Okay. And I'm in! Second time's the charm. Time for more cutscenes and dialogue. Yippee! Yoji Shinkawa. How much artwork have I seen by that man? Not enough! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Oh, Paul Iding and, and David Hater, I love your voids, voices. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Yes, unnoticed. Oh, wait, I'm not in the right place. That's going to happen a lot. Awesome. There is a trick I am going to try straight away. And I don't think it's gonna work. There but we're gonna do it anyway. Hours left until their deadline. <laughs> You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. Awkward. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. Yes. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. 
Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also That's in good. charge That's of your good mission advice. data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. There's a lot if of riz going in. on. <laughs> there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. You yep. can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. They're also blind. But you're stood right in that at right out in the open. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Yup. Are we going back to Kodak again? Do I have here. to move my webcam? I want to stop doing it. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Oh, I'm playing the game! Yes! Okay. Metal Gear Solid. I have to remember that I can do this. When I do that, I can attract them to my position and run away. So I'm going to remember that, and I'm also going to try that trick I said that I was going to try. Ah! Okay. Now I go, I've got to keep an eye out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there to get the, the item. There's a trick to the cameras, and I don't think I've got the necessary tools. A surveillance camera? Yeah, that one. No. I can't do that, but what I'm going to try and do is get this thing in the middle. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> I can't see him! I can't see him, it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot. Now I have what is necessary in order to get past that camera. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so well, so good. Hopefully it's entertaining. I remember that I used to play this with the D-pad because on the PlayStation 1, you didn't have analog sticks. Uh, how do I throw? Ah, yes. There we go. Stun grenades. Ooh la la. The thing is, when I do that, when I jam the signal, it means I jam my signal as well, because I have a solid on radar, and it doesn't respond well to chaff grenades. There is a man. There is a man over here looking for me. No. You stay away! What's that? <laughs> He's probably going to see me and shoot me in the face. Sir, I would like you to leave. Don't want to get shot in the face. Okay, 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 okay. He's going to turn around. Ah, delightful. A SOCOM! Which is a gun! But guns are loud. 
so we won't be using guns. You would think chaff grenades would also be loud, as they are, you know. How do I, oh. Okay, I know which way I want to go. And I think I've got a th Oh, ah, e, ah, ooh, e, ah. No! I'm invisible! Okay. We're okay. He was so close! He was so close! Go away! Thank you very much, sir. Go away! Don't touch my bum. I said I was gonna get seen a lot. I didn't lie to you. I would never lie to you. Um. Yeah, I wish I'd kind of put it on uh, D-pad now. Cause doing it with an analog stick feels weird. I'm blaming it on the analog sticks, all right? You calm down. I also need to go into my... Oh. I also need to go into my codec. Right Snake, now. this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. So now, what I need to do is I need to go... I'll, you know what? I'll do this one. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. So, yo, know, that was not helpful. Uh, 1495? Which is save, right? A5? Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go into intrusion mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward and down to retreat backwards. You can also press right or left to face either direction. Advance while hiding yourself, pay attention to the enemy's actions, and make sure you're not discovered. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will still follow you. Snake, first you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. Okay, I've forgotten what mailings is. Not that one, you silly sausage. That one? What? What was Mei Ling's? I'll do every single bloody one. You don't know. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The solar ton radar won't work in a narrow space. It's fine. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference, and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? Save. Thank you very don't much. Don't Snake. I will. I mean, not. I will not. So we finally made it in the building. And this is what the inside looks like. Terrifying. Hold on. Was there another way to go? Or is it just one way to go? There's just one way. Yeah, uh, Snake's incredibly flexible because he can turn around in such a narrow space easily. No resistance, no problems. Can I actually look... Down? I moved the dark machine to the cell on the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. 
Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's no, killed I haven't. three people? Yeah. No, I haven't. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Oh, anyway, yeah, that's funny. I want funny. you to increase that's the security funny. detail on the chief. <laughs> that's funny, because I'm not being stealthy, am I, Snake? Cheeky. Unbelievably cheeky. I'm pretty sure there was a but there was buttons you could push in order to look down. Oh, hello. Hello, camera. That's a room I'd like to go in soon. So this is my preferred way in. There are three ways in. You know, it, I like that it gave you that amount of flexibility to where you could choose your own path. As Campbell said, you get to choose the course of action, the CON. I don't want to go in yet. No, I don't want to go in. I want this. And this is a ration. I can't pick it up. Fantastic. <laughs> Campbell, call me. Are you just going to tell me what button to push? It was that one. It, uh, it was, it was, I, I knew the button. Thanks. Ah! What? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Thanks, Campbell. I haven't even looked around yet. I've got some chaff grenades. There we go. So here we are. we got doors. Slightly disassembled tanks. And a camera. But what we need to do to the camera is throw a chaff at it. Or... Crawl underneath it and save our chaff grenades and then run. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Keep forgetting the buttons. There we go. Thermal goggles. So not really much in the way of... Um... So I'll keep an eye out for their cone of vision. Not much of the way of offensive weapons yet. But, you know, it's a stealth mission. I'm supposed to be stealthy. Thankfully, they can't hear me. They're deaf. Um, we've got another thing here. We've got a door that has a one on it. And I don't have anything that will open that yet. But I will, in fact, throw this. Because I'm not comfortable with the analog sticks yet. Okay, I need to turn that off. Then I need to push the button. Push the, push the, get in, get in. Da, 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 da. You see them skills? Terrifying. B1. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. He wasn't a green dot as much as a green everything. Yeah, look, he's not really a green dot over there. That nearly got my ass. We got a six on that door. What could they mean? Weirdly empty. Got a one there. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, Tutorials. just press the action button <laughs> by the ladder. I know. Man. <laughs> yeah. A little bit handholdy with the uh, with the tutorials, but extremely um, brutal in terms of if you mess up, your fault. They will send people to kill you. I want to remember what the buttons are for this. What is the button? Is it? What is the button to look down? There's a button to look down, and I can't. I I can't do it. Can you not do it on this version? 
I thought it was them. I thought it was... No? All right, well, we can't look down. You can look down these vents. I've got... Oh! 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 It's R1 and down on the analog stick. Oh, and you have to be in the right place. So that is... There's uh, a ration in there, I believe. It might be a ration. Okay. Figure it out, everybody. It's been... It's... It's... It's been almost 20 years, so, you know. Ugh, oh, kinda damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. That is... You're either tiny, or that toilet is massive. Were you slacking or shitting? Because if you are shitting, change your trousers. You did it wrong. Right? He did it wrong. And... Boop! Is that a woman? Not him. Wait, isn't there like a... There's a thingy. There, there's like a bonus thing that you can get. By watch, like watching her for a long time. Would you like to know what it is? Because I ain't, I ain't got the, I ain't got the time to spend doing it. Would you like to know? I'm not telling you. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Ah, they would have told me just then. Can I go back now? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's a bonus thing. But maybe we'll never know. Boom! I did it. I feel like I'm in the way. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? 
Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What's that? Hey, what happened? Naomi, Yo, what the chief. F what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. 
You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. That went really well, didn't it? Oh, she, she... Um. Um. Hello? No. Damn it, I don't have room for more rations! How many rations do I have, huh? How many? Two? Why can't I have more rations? What gives? I have thermal goggles, which means I can see how warm you are. Bet it's your armpits and your crotch that are always warm. Got cigarettes as well. Smoke them. But it says there, smoking is hazardous for your health. So I will not be using those. I don't need to. Um, I have a level one card that I need to equip whenever I walk up to a level one door. So I'll put my rations on. And then leave. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Shaking. This is the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Oh, I've forgotten door. how to shoot! You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Uh... Okay. Oh my god. What are okay. You for? Shoot! Don't talk She's... to me like a rookie! She's terrified, man. I'm telling you, shoot! She did it! Nailed it. Well done. Aha! We're nailing it! Thank God for auto aim! Don't shoot me! Okay, so this is the first shooting section. Very, very easy. Love it long term. Oh God! Will you please help me? Nailed it. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? You fool. She got reminded of GTA you Vice City you. for some reason. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Nice pose. Victory pose. That's what that was. Good girl. Just like that. Oh, 
okay. All right, all right. I'm trying not to talk about Naomi, anything that will be given way story details, so... Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. That was Mantis. I need to go back. If you don't want me... By the way, you can let me know if you don't want me to be flying around the screen like this. I'm trying to find a good place for me to sit. That's probably the best place. As I don't want to cover my life or, uh, you know, the, the minimap. But yeah, now I can put the level one card on and we can go look around. What did she have under her bed? Anything? Nothing. She ate her ration. So I can actually, wait a minute, use the ration. Yep. And then pick up this ration. Yeah, thank goodness for auto-aim. See? She called this guy over, knocked him out, left him in his pants. He's unconscious. Still very much alive. What do we got? Soak on bullets. And this is the giant toilet. All right. So now we have a level one card. You can see on the door, that one says six. We won't be getting that one for a while. Uh, how do I just... There was a button that you can push in order to... Quickly, uh, unequip... A weapon and an item, but I don't know what they are. I don't know whether I've set that up correctly. It's not what I set it up to be. Oh, it's that! I've set it up as... Oh, no, not this area. Okay. Is it now? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is now. So, that's a level five. That's a level one. Okay. So, I need to use... My first person... <laughs> Because there are some of these rooms that are a bit dodgy. That's a level three. I think that's all I'm going to get for right now. You see me sh running in a snake-like pattern? It's not because I'm cosplaying as Solid Snake. It's because analog sticks are incredibly sensitive. Um, nope, that's Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, is this one? Oh, this one! Grenades! Okay. So there are a couple of grey areas on the walls. Now I know which way to go, but I'm going to look around for like, stuff like this. Alright. Now now, how do, I, how do I set this up? Okay, I found it. Stun grenades. Shaft grenades. Okay, is there another one? Yes. Okay, fair enough. We got some more C4 and more Socom bullets that I don't need. Oh god, there was a, a trap! Any more? No. So now I can go to the place where we need to go. And not fall off and die. Do you know what I should do? <laughs> I should call Mei Ling. You caught Snake? There are no checkpoints. Rocky Rocket, you must save. And Snake, you must save what often. Lo said, he who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, Think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. I'm sorry. Are you a loot whore? No. Then shut your mouth. I am one. And I will pick up everything if I want to. There we go. Over here and... 
I like how we have to throw a punch to set off the uh, the C4. Very nice. Okay, so we said Baker's being held in a place with a lot of uh, interference. So here we are with interference. Go down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. They, no, 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 no. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I remember rightly. Yes, there is a way this way. Yes. And then I believe... Okay, I'm not going there for a while. And that's a bloody gun. So we'll, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> ah. Okay. Should have saved that side. Am I too late? Gonna have to save that side if I die. <sighs> He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? <sighs> don't worry. I'm here to save you. <sighs> no. No, don't touch it. C4. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Absolutely not. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Oh shit. Draw! I'm gonna die! Draw! Uh, no. Hiding won't help you. I'm not hiding! I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. I know you do. I don't want to fight you. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Right, so. Meh. Ah! I love oh. to reload during a battle. I got you! Stop talking shit! All right. Alive again. Let's go. Holy God, I shot a shot in the face. Uh, I need to put the rations on. And remember the buttons. And I need to remember... I, I can only shoot him once at a time. Okay. Let's cut him off! Don't you want to settle this? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. This is so wonky with that uh, analog stick. Ah! You slut! That's what I said! Revolver Ocelot! Shooting everybody! You only shoot well, you load with the people you love! Not everyone, willy-nilly! You know, that's so smell. But to you, be the smell of your own death. What the fuck? How did I miss? I may die. I told you, I may die. Also, I wish you would aim the way that I want you to aim, Solid Snake. I get the. I don't have any ammo. That's an unfortunate problem to have when uh, the, the whole control scheme sucks. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> this game's not made for gunfire. <laughs> Cannot. Oh! Trick shot, bitch. I can't shoot Kenneth Baker, and I can't shoot touch the cables, so I've kind of got to be careful. We ran past each other, then that's never happened. I'm gonna go the other way, climb off. I'm gonna go the other way, climb off. This is the game we're playing, Ocelot. Ow, you poor. Oh, I have no ammo? Great. What about stun grenades then? Yes, that's right. That's right, that's right, you can't see. It seems the uh, the bullets come back. And I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Whooped it easy? All right, it's fine. I think I got him. We may win. Ow. That's not fair. You can bounce things off of walls. Okay, I gotta be more careful with how I'm firing. Like, wait for him to reload. Ah! I don't wanna die. Dying is bad. Ow! Really? You run out of ammo now? All right. Thank you, game. <laughs> okay. Okay. You might shoot me one more time, but I'm gonna get. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. You even die right. You were lucky. We'll meet again. I never realized he picked up his own hand. I of course. You. I have no name. <laughs> that that exoskeleton. Cuckoo Can for Cocoa Pops. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. 
<laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha! Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? CD case. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. What am I looking at right now? Drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Okay, not broken. That, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean deterrence. Metal Gear? Yes. You know, our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. 
That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they actually went in. Did it? What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... <sighs> what the hell? Hmm. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Good. Wait, where am I going now? Oh! So there we go. Another one bites the dust, I guess. Um, level two. But this is a level... A blur card. Uh, level four. Okay. Good boss fight. Best boss fight. Let's leave. We're not gonna go near the guns. Because those are camera turrets and I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. Oh, there's more... There's people here now? But there's people? Why would there be people? There's trap doors! People could die! Is there a... Number two? Is there... Is there, is there a, a door with number two written on it? Because if there's a door with number two written on it, I want to go with it! To win it! Okay! So you remember when Snake was like... I got cigarettes with me. I'll show you what they do. The cigarettes... 
show lasers. So in order to get through this, we would have to crouch and go underneath them. But look at my health. Cigarettes are hazardous to your health. So instead, you do what I did. You get the thermal goggles, and that just makes it all easier. Yoink. I got a Famas. And that's just a big shooty shooty blam blam, blam gun. Uh, well, I don't know whether I want to be using that because uh, it's a lot of noise. That's not what I mean. Look, it's huge. Now, I can't remember for the life of me where I get a silencer. I can't remember. I'm trying to think with my tiny brain. It's not working. So for now, I will stick to chaff grenades probably and then we'll have to change this over to the level 2 card and leave that's a level 1 there are multiple people and trap doors everywhere isn't this just swell I'm trying to look at all the doors to make sure that I get all the level 2's okay nearly ran into that Level one, level one, level one, level three. So I think the only level two was the new weapon. What I am gonna do, can I not, can I not use this? Can I not use this? Oh, unless I push a button. You know, like playing a video game back in that time. I'm gonna go to B1. No, it's what? It's back to one now. Right, okay. I should really end the video, which I'm probably gonna have to do. But I'm trying to find a place that's nice and quiet, and this is perfect. Level twos also open level one doors. Mei Ling, hi. Tell me more things. What is it, Snake? I'd like to say, but you got anything, uh, anything to say? Snake, like Shakespeare said, Nod's head all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. I just want items. There's nothing wrong with that. Man, she's all up in my business. Either way, guys, that is all I got time for for this video. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid 1. I'm excited to play this. This is going to be a great time. I hope you're excited. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game, what you think to the intro, whether you've seen the game before. If this is your first time, I'm trying to play it and not give away any spoilers. And hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy the surprises just like I did when I played it back in 1998. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.